Hey guys, hope you're all good today. Just want to chat to you today about food. Now obviously food is such an important thing when we're trying to get lean. When we're trying to decrease body fat and create a healthier, happier body, food is such a big important part. Exercise is going to create that initial change and it's going to help us create muscle mass and burn some of that body fat, but food is going to be the main instigator in decreasing that body fat. Making sure that you don't consume too much, but also the right kinds of food are going to be the major players in making you a leaner person. Now obviously there's a lot of diets out there that you can follow, different ways and styles of eating that can all be effective. But ultimately what we're trying to do is change your dietary lifestyle. We're trying to create those habits and those changes that you can eat every day for the rest of your life that are going to create a happy, healthy and lean body. So we use our simple, easy nutritional guide, which we call our Daily Dozen, which we use from Dr. Greger's nutritionalfacts.org. He created it as a way to allow people like me and you to know what kind of foods we need to eat every day and what's going to be most optimal for human health. You want to get your best bang for your buck when you're eating food. You don't want to be eating loads of different foods, trying to get loads of variation and nutrients. So this style and way of eating, using the Daily Dozen as a guideline uh, of foods to include in your daily lifestyle, is a great way to keep the flexibility in your hands. You can be flexible with what you eat and how you eat it, but making sure that we get the right foods and then the right nutritional profile into your daily life lifestyle is going to be really, really beneficial to helping you get lean. So we have 12 food groups that we're going to try and include in your diet every day. You can vary them however you want and try and include them uh, into your daily lifestyle. So our first one is going to be beans. Yep, beans are a perfect food group. They've got tons of fiber, tons of protein, great for gut bacteria, and they're really going to leave you feeling full and hopefully leave you feeling satisfied. Different variations of beans that you can get are things like baked beans, yes, even the old Heinz baked beans are great. Um, you can go black beans, kidney beans, whatever variation of bean you prefer. You've also got chickpeas, lentils, you've got peas as well. You've also got some great variations like tofu and hummus that are also going to be great to add into your foods or whatever meals you're prepping throughout the day. With beans, we're going to try and get three whole portions throughout the day. The next most important one we've got is berries. Berries are an incredible one. They taste so good in smoothies and perfect to snack on throughout the day. They're going to give you tons of energy and they're great for anti-cancer and antioxidant content. For berries, you can have anything from grapes, raisins, blackberries, blueberries, strawberries, cherries, raspberries and any other ones that you can find. Berries are going to be great for you to snack on throughout the day and they're really going to be quite filling but they're also very low calorie and they taste great. We're going to try and get one portion of berries. We're then going to try and get three portions of other fruits. This could be anything from tomatoes, avocados, bananas, apples, oranges, grapefruits, lemon, limes. These are going to give great variety and great micronutrient content to your entire diet. So it is important that you do get those other fruits in. The next most important one is cruciferous vegetables. Now these bad boys are really important to your daily diet, so I'd recommend getting one portion of these each day. Most cruciferous vegetables are really high in chlorophyll and sulforaphane, which helps protect the body's cells against things like cancer and also potentially heart attacks and things like that in the future. A couple of cruciferous vegetables that you could include would be things like broccoli sprouts or broccoli, cauliflower, kale, arugula, rocket or even Brussels sprouts. Our next one is green vegetables. Now you want to eat as much of these as you can. Super high in fiber, really filling, great for the body and perfect for weight loss, very low calorie and going to be really ideal for optimum human health. Things like spring greens, kale, young salad, rocket, arugula or spinach or maybe even Swiss chard are all going to be optimal for your green section. We're going to try and get two portions of greens. Now we're looking for variety and one of the most important things you can have for variety is more vegetables. So we've got other vegetables. Other vegetables such as courgettes, garlic, mushrooms, sweet corn, carrots, onion, pumpkin or even sweet potato are all going to be ideal and we want to try and get two portions of those. Next we got one portion of flax seeds. Flax seeds are a really important part of your everyday life. If you can consume them, perfect. They go great in a smoothie or to snack on. They go really well on things like salads or perfect to put in a smoothie and you won't even taste them. 
About one tablespoon each day is going to give you tons of omega-3s, great protein and really good fiber. So I'd 100% recommend flax seeds each day. Next one is nuts and seeds. Now we would always recommend one portion of nuts and seeds, but try and keep the variety as wide as you can. The more, the better. Things like peanut, Brazil nut, almond or even walnuts are all really, really great choices. As well as things like sunflower or pumpkin seeds are going to give you tons of protein, great omega-3s and are really going to help the bodily function. The next one is a really important one and I do this daily. We're going to add in turmeric. Turmeric is that orange spice that you may have seen if you've ever done any Indian cooking and it's super, super powerful. It's from a root and it's going to be great for antioxidants within the body, great for anyone that has any issues with joint problems, but it's also really, really good because it's got great anti-cancer properties. Turmeric also helps stop inflammation. So post-workout, your recoveries, you're going to be maybe feeling a little bit more recovered if you include some turmeric in your smoothie or in your food. We would recommend one quarter teaspoon of turmeric every day. A really, really important one is whole grains. Whole grains are going to be such an important element of trying to decrease body fat because they're going to help us feel fuller for longer and they're also going to be a big chunk of our overall calories throughout the day. Whole grains can give us a lot of energy and we want to make sure that we're consuming the right amount of those and the right type of those. Some good whole grains to consume would be things like brown rice or even wild rice, quinoa, oats or even whole wheat pasta. These are going to be some of the most filling but they're also going to be great for digestion and also your gut bacteria. So make sure you include those whole grains. One of the most important ones and one that we all can't do without is drinks. We all need to consume water, we all need hydration. If we don't, we'll soon pretty much die. So we want to make sure that we consume the right amount each day but also if we can amplify those drinks or that water with something that's going to help decrease body fat, why not? Drinks are really important because they're going to help us feel fuller, they're going to also help our muscles recover and they help keep our body hydrated and the body functioning correctly. When we don't get enough water or we're underhydrated, the body doesn't function correctly and that's not going to be beneficial for decreasing body fat and it's also not going to be beneficial for optimum performance. I'd always recommend water, you can't beat it, it's the original and it's still the best. But if you do want to consume other liquids, things like coffee, green teas, even white tea or black tea, Earl Grey or even hibiscus tea, those are all going to count towards your hydration levels. And the last one of our daily dozen is exercise. No, it's not a food or a drink, it's exercise. One of the most important things you can do each day is keep your body moving. We would recommend 90 minutes as a minimum each day for moderate exercise. So something walking like a fast paced kind of walk or even a steady kind of walk, but 90 minutes of a fast paced walk. If you're gonna do something more intense, then you can decrease that time down. But as a minimum, try and get in some steps, try and keep moving throughout the day, try and get as a minimum 12,000 steps, and that's gonna help decrease that body fat massively. Obviously, for a lot of us, getting in 90 minutes of exercise may not be possible depending on your job. So getting in those intense workouts when you can, it's gonna be really ideal and it's really gonna help keep your exercise daily dozen um, up to shape. Keeping as active as possible is going to be so, so important to helping you decrease body fat. Your input, which is your food, and then your output, which is your exercise. The more input you have, the more output you have to have to maintain or decrease body fat. So if we limit our input or improve the quality of that input, then our output can still be high and you'll see a quicker decrease in body fat. So those are our daily dozen for optimal health. If you can include all 12 of those things into your daily lifestyle, you're gonna be in a really, really good level and hopefully on a great place to start burning more body fat and hopefully living a healthier and happier life.